Hi, U.S. History. Sorry, I'm using a new computer, so a little bit of uh, some technical difficulties here. So let's get started. So likely you have found that this is the asynchronous folder for um, your asynchronous work day. Go into that asynchronous folder. And what you will find once you've gone into that asynchronous folder is right here is the vocabulary word assigned terms. OK, you're going to jump into that first. When you go into this document, <laughs> it's a little slow. All right. When you go into this document, you'll see here this is a um, this is a spreadsheet, and you can see right here it says A day and B day students. Okay. So let's say I'm a B day student. I'm going to click on this tab right here, and I'm going to find my name. They are in alphabetical order. Um, the thing is, it's they're in alphabetical order by class. So see where we start with Sarah's name and we go all the way down to Alice's name, Allison's name. That's B-Day first U.S. history. And then we start with Carson's name and it goes all the way down to Logan's name. That's second period of B-Day U.S. history. So you find your assigned numbers here. And um, you look up your assigned numbers, and I've noticed here, Logan, we will get you some assigned numbers on this document. All right, so she, he, we look up this assigned numbers, and I'm going to use Allison as an example. Four to six are her numbers. You guys remember that vocabulary that we did? Okay, I'm going to dismiss this and get this out of the way. But four to six are Allison's numbers. So she is now assigned the words convoy armistice and isolate those are her official words four two and six okay the numbers correspond with the number on the vocabulary sheet so now allison's going to write those down four convoy two armistice six isolate all right. Now she may need to use her vocabulary definitions that she did a couple weeks ago to help her, because then what she's going to do is she's going to jump out of this document here. And she's going to go to the vocabulary relevant connections. Assignment here, and it says, please examine the vocabulary assignment chart for your spe specific assigned vocabulary terms. All right. So we did that. She has four two six. then outline how each of these terms are related to each other as applied to World War I, and write a paragraph about World War I that incorporates each of these terms. So Allison is going to basically write a paragraph about how isolate, convoy, and armistice all relate to each other and talk about World War I. She may want to talk about things like how the United States initially isolated themselves and talk a little bit about why we had isolated ourselves using our notes. And then she might want to talk about um, how we used a convoy to get over the Atlantic when we decided to actually um, engage in this European conflict. And then talk about how we participated in the armistice to end the war. Now, of course, she's going to go do a little bit more in a little more detail than I just did there. But see how she's connecting all of those words together to make one paragraph about World War I. OK, so it's not just about using the word. It's about using the word correctly to explain how World War I happened. All right. So that's what you're doing. You are making a relevant connection of all three vocabulary terms. The good thing about this, guys, is if you do this assignment, you are prepping for our test because there will be a question exactly like this on your test. And the words that you'll have to use are these exact same words that you've been officially assigned. All right, guys, hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, please be sure to email me.